Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Black & Decker. This is their Power Series Plus cordless stick vacuum. I did purchase this product myself, and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this vacuum or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. They walk you through some key tech specs and features you'll see on the backside. They also advertise 40 minutes of runtime in this features auto sense technology. This is gonna be optimized for both hard floors and surfaces as well as carpets. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Looking for a secure and reliable way to access the internet? Look no further than ExpressVPN. Protect your personal information and browsing history from prying eyes. Act now and sign up for ExpressVPN today using our link in the description and receive an extra three months of service for free. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature featuring our safety and compliance information followed by our user guide and manual for two different models, both the 420 and the 520. You'll see what's included, how to use and set up your vacuum. And then we have additional warnings and safety information. This does come with a two year warranty if you're wondering. They also have their customer service and contact information in here if you have any questions. Next, you'll see we have our crevice tool with Black & Decker's logo and branding on it, followed by our charger the wall side, and here's the plug that's gonna go into the vacuum itself. Here's the main unit, take a look at that. Got our control button up at the top, battery indicator light, empty button, Black & Decker branding. Here's a look from the side with the release arrow. Take a look at the other side. Get a feel for that nice grip handle there. Integrated battery, it's not removable. You'll see the front profile there. Warning label on the bottom, additional tech specs for you to read. And then we can go ahead if we want to empty that. Just comes right out. There's a look inside the vacuum. And then we'll see right here, we have a filter we can wash. Nice indicator there. And then these arrows pull everything out so you can see the dust bin and clean it completely. Line them back up, press it back in, and then it just snaps right back in place. And lastly, we have the main unit here. So you'll see our brush roller with Black & Decker's logo and branding, built-in LED lights right there. You'll see the very bottom of the brush roller here with our two wheels. Nice bristles, really hard plastic in between the blue that you're seeing there. Two additional wheels to roll on. Here's a look of the back side of it with our main tube and channel here how it connects to the main vacuum unit. And you'll see what's nice about this stand is it does lock into place, so the whole vacuum can support itself upright. But look at the pivoting motion we have, so we can swivel that pretty good left or right. Nice movement there, pretty wide angle. And then obviously up and down. Vacuum's fully assembled. It's standing upright on its own right here. Same with on the carpet as well. So whether it's a hard floor or surface or carpet, it should be able to stand upright, which is really nice. Now let's check out the LED lights while we're still here in the studio. All right, take a look at those lights right there. Nice and bright. We can see all the buttons on the remote control. Two bright LEDs.
look at those nice lines in our carpet. Now let's see how it handles the shag rug. With our first clean out of the way, I thought we'd look at the results to see what we sucked up as well as how clean the brush roller looks. So let's start with the brush roller. Pay attention to any tangles you see. We have a couple of carpet threads in there, a couple of human hairs in the brush, but not too bad. You want to watch that though and make sure you're maintaining, removing, clipping, and cleaning the brush roller. Other side, you'll notice just a little bit of dirt and dust collecting in there. It's really, you know, drumming up a lot of that dirt as it's vacuuming. But the real story here is going to be our dustbin contents. Look at how gross that is. A lot of pet hair there. So let's see if we can gently remove this without making a big mess. Let's see if we can open this some. Look at that. So gross. Tons of hair in there. Oh, so disgusting. And a lot of crumbs. You'll see them spilling out here. But maybe if I actually shut this, try to look at the very, I don't know if you can see it, but the very bottom, a lot of crumbs too. So larger particles as well as the really fine dirt and dust being trapped in our filter, which is great to see. That's what you want to see. You don't want to be exhausting the dust and dirt everywhere around your house. But that's kind of a nice preview right there of what you're able to clean up with this vacuum. Now let's talk about this vacuum's performance. First thing I want to cover is actually the price. This will help us understand the performance better because this is going to be the classic case of you get what you pay for. So what sort of performance do you need and how much do you want to spend? That's only something that you can decide. But first up, when it comes to price, this is one of the most affordable brand new cordless vacuum cleaners out there on the market. And bonus points, what isn't factored in is the fact that we get LED lights. That's an extra bonus for this particular vacuum. But compared to all tested, this is going to be anywhere between a third and the fourth of a cost of your typical cordless vacuum cleaner. So when you're looking at things like battery life, yes, we're going to be below average, but how much below average? In this case, it's not going to be two or three, or excuse me, three or four times below average. So 40 minutes runtime, again, that'll depend on suction settings, a lot of other factors and variables. Moving right along, bin capacity, this is actually well within range. So 0.5 liters versus 0.57. Some of the higher end models typically have around 0.6 liters for their bin capacity, but well within range there. In regards to max suction power measured in watts, now you'll start to see the difference three to four times less for our Black & Decker versus the average tested. And same holds true as well with the max suction power measured in K. PAs. This is actually measured here in the studio. You're seeing about a four times greater average from the other vacuums we've tested versus this particular vacuum. And lastly, in regards to decibels, we got 85 decibels on our max suction setting versus 97 decibels. This is tested in a room on carpet. I did observe when I was using this 
on hard floors and surfaces, it seemed to be a little bit louder than your typical cordless vacuum cleaner. And I think that has to be due to the brush roller that we have here. It's just a little bit louder, harder, and makes a little bit more noise as it's moving across your floor. So where does all that leave us? Well, it leaves us exactly where we need to be, right at my final thoughts. So here's what I wanna say about this particular vacuum. First thing is, if your only takeaway from this video is anything, it's you get what you pay for, so don't forget about that. I'd actually argue you get what you pay for, but sometimes you're pleasantly surprised, as in the case with this vacuum. This stands upright on its own, and it includes LED lights. I've used vacuums that cost five times as much as this vacuum, and they don't even include LED lights. So really pleased with this vacuum overall. Think of this for anybody that has hard floors and surfaces that wants to clean up light messes. You would really enjoy this vacuum. I still think it did a good job on carpets as well too, but that is where you'll see separation with those stronger, more powerful cordless vacuums out there. They'll give you a better clean on carpets, but hard floors, for sure, this has no issues. And again, light cleaning on carpets as well. You'd be really happy with this vacuum. You really just can't beat the value for the price that you're paying. Lastly, I wanna point out it actually did a good job with larger debris so thankfully they had it designed with this channel right here so if you line stuff up in the center like cheerios you'll be able to suck those up without any issue